Hello and welcome. My name is Brian Brown and in this video we're going to discuss how to create interaction attendant desktop shortcuts. Okay, let's say for example I'm on my interaction attendant inbound interface and I need to get to my email interface. Well, it would be nice if I had a nice shortcut to get to my email interface instead of logging off of the inbound interface and then logging back on selecting the email interface. When from my desktop, if I install what's called an abbreviation at the end of the target line on the desktop shortcut, then I can have a quick means of accessing my email, my operator, maybe my outbound configuration. And the abbreviation there are as follows. I have forward slash E or forward slash E for email. I have forward slash operator or forward slash OP for the op operator interface. I have forward slash outbound or forward slash out for the outbound interface. If you'll notice, I didn't put anything down for the inbound interface. That's because by default, the icon that is on your desktop or your client desktop, should I say, is already directed to the inbound interface. So let's take a look at how we actually create the desktop shortcut. Okay, now from our client desktop, we need to go ahead and create a couple of desktop shortcuts for Interaction Attendant. So I'm going to go to my Start menu, All Programs. I'm going to go to the Interactive Intelligence folder. But instead of just clicking on the Interactive uh, Attendant icon, excuse me, I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to Send to Desktop Create Shortcut. Let's do that again and create two shortcuts. So once again, right click, send to desktop. Okay, now that I've created a couple of desktop shortcuts, let's go ahead and modify them so I can open them in the different interaction attendant interfaces. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and rename it first, and I'm going to call this one interaction attendant email. And the second one here, I'm going to go ahead and call this one Interaction Attendant Outbound. All right, so now that we have them named, let's go ahead and configure them. So under the email, I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to the properties, and then I'm going to ensure that I'm on the shortcut tab here. And then on the target line, I'm going to go to the very end of the target line, insert a space, a forward slash, and then one of the abbreviations we looked at. Either E or email for the email shortcut. I'm going to hit apply and OK. And then for the outbound one, let's go ahead and open the properties. And I'm going to make sure I'm on the shortcut tab once again. I'm going to go to the target line, go to the very end of the target line, insert a space, forward slash and for this one instead of outbound I'm going to just type in out and then I'm going to hit apply all right now you will notice now I have my two desktop shortcuts so if I go ahead and open the interaction attendant email you will see I have opened up into the interaction attendant inbound email configuration all right so let's look at our other one outbound if I go ahead and open the outbound configuration you have now created a desktop shortcut for the interaction attendant outbound call configuration once again my name is Brian Brown and thank you for watching this just-in-time video